Ellis Beef Easter's Radio Air Check and Classic TV Channel. Jordan, everybody, on WDLS. His new CD is in stores. It's called Life After Death. He is off Def Jam Records. Um, he had his album release party last night at Float Nightclub here in Manhattan, and it was very, very nice. A lot of people showed up. Montel performed, did a wonderful job. I saw some people and had some champagne, and, and shout out to everybody that I saw last night. And, and good luck, Montel Jordan. He um, had on black slacks when he performed, and he also had on a black suede laser cut shirt. And, you know, because he's six feet, like six, he's very tall, like six, six or six, eight. His, his, he's got like those big man clothes, you know, like everything just looks like, ooh, so damn big, you know, but that's our Montel, and a special shout out to our friends at Martel Cognac, very, very nice, they were the big sponsors for last night, and some WBLS people were there, because we were down with the cause too, and special shout out to DJ Chuck Chill Out. As well, he was the DJ for the night. So it's 2:47, everybody. Don't miss the International Jamaican Film Festival. You can go there uh, and check out David Levy of the David Levy Show here on Sundays. Um, I believe you have to listen to David for your chance to even hook up with this. Yeah, here's where it says that. He comes on Sunday night at 7 p.m. And his show is called Caribbean Fever. And you can win a Death Jamaica CD. <clears throat> excuse me, and go on to qualify to join David. At the International Jamaican Festival in um, in Jamaica, of course, yeah. Mm -hmm. So, I want to shout out to everybody in Sayreville, New Jersey, on Saturday, as in two days from now, three days from now, wait, Thursday, three days from now, I'm going to be um, in Sayreville. There's a party going on at the Aqua Lounge. Aqua Boogie. At the Aqua Lounge. I'll see you there on Saturday, Sayreville. Sayreville. Tracy's listening. Tracy um, is very, very mad at me. She works at um, Shalonic and Huckberg here on 42nd Street in the city. And she says, Wendy, Wendy, Wendy. Three Wendy's, because that's how you know somebody's mad. Stop being so extra. You're so full of it. You talk as if you were gay. You would be all comfortable and this and that. When you were a crackhead, you didn't come out like that. Yeah, well... The marked difference between me then and me now is I've gone through that, and I am who I am. And damn it, I would have probably been an in-the-closet crackhead back then. You know what I'm saying? But upon my coming out and being honest about how I've lived, what I do, and where I want to go in my life, I could not hide uh, me being a lesbian at this point. I'm not saying eight years ago I would have had the same guts, or five years ago I would have had the same guts. But at this point in my life... One more thing on mother's report card certainly wouldn't damage. <laughs> and no, I'm not going to say the effing name of the rapper, Tracy. Hi, Michelle. Michelle wants to know over there in Tracy's office. No, you guys, if the rapper comes up here and, and, and you know, wants to talk, then fine. Until then, I don't know. You think I should just say it? I don't know. I mean, you know, let him say it. Let him say it by coming up here and acknowledging what what uh, what needs to be acknowledged. Apparently, in the public, being that JoJo thought it was important enough to acknowledge it in the public. Me personally, I think those things are private matters. But you know, we love the drama, drama, oh conflama here on the show. So, bring it on. Mm mm mm. Shout out to Mumu. Yes, Mumu. That is. Yes, she says. <laughs> no, I'm not even say what she says. Yes, yeah, she guessed the rapper. Um. Michael Loyal fan, you just got a lot going on in your corner today. Michael wants me to remind you all about the bowling party on November 1st. Okay, Michael, you're going to be there apparently. Good. We're going to finally uh, get a chance to hang together after hours with this drink. You listen every day. I'm going to be over in Queens on November 1st at the AMF, I believe it's called Bowling Alley. Do you know where that is over in Queens? What part of Queens did I say that was in? Rich, Richmond Hill. Richmond Hill. On November 1st, that's a Saturday. We're bowling from 11 o'clock at night to 4 in the morning. I'm not staying until 4. I'll be there around midnight, you know. I'll hang out, you know, drink a few mugs of beer or something like that and, and toss a few balls and that's it. But, um, yes, Michael Loyal fan, thank you for reminding me of that. Also, thank you for sending this over to me. I did not realize that the mullets was dropped. Oh, gee, how did that happen? The most interesting thing about that show is watching Lonnie Anderson in her various stages of, you know, maintaining her, because she's pretty. She's maintained her look. And I just like to look at Lonnie Anderson and see, oh, yeah, that's an eye lift, probably. 
Hello, Lisa. Turn on channel two. Look at Lonnie Anderson. What do you think? Collagen on the upper and lower? Or just, the, you know. Uh, but that wasn't enough to hold the sh- hold interest in the show. So it's been um, taken from the schedule on UPN and it's being replaced with repeat episodes of Girlfriends. Yes. 